We're going to go through and show some of the animations within Posture Screen Mobile um, that are available. The spine is already available here. Um, this one, called Cervical Flexion Extension, is good to show and differentiate between how a person moves their neck normally forward and backwards, as opposed to, if we go back, as opposed to what a rear impact collision would be, like this whiplash. So sometimes when you're at a spinal care class um, or you're educating patients when you're at a um, health event, this is very, very powerful to explain to them on the differences between a trauma and normal ranges of motion. Another one would be uh, showing them their abnormal posture and over time, losing that normal posture, how they can age. We know that uh, research shows that there's obviously detrimental effects to abnormal posture over time. And so they, how they age is up to them and how this will um, cause them to decay faster and lead to a poorer quality of life. Next one, what I would like to show and demonstrate would be the postural shifts. This is important right here. The thoracic postural shift is important to be able to show. Translations are very, very common when you do a postural assessment. And so with the side shift, it usually correlates with um, their posture, but they only understand the posture component. So then we follow up with a thoracic list to show them that their spine is inside that posture. And when their spine shifts, it's because their posture is shifted in most cases. And when that occurs, the delicate nerves are tethered. Okay, and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go back and show the most popular animation we have is the subluxation degeneration, which is going from a lordosis over time, losing that normal healthy curve. And as they lose that normal healthy curve, you're gonna go ahead and see Wolf's Law take effect. And sorry the, the quality of uh, the recording here because I'm trying to hold the, the iPhone camera. So you guys can see this, these animations. And as you can see, what's occurring is that there's bony growth occurring. And you can discuss about how this also tethers and compresses the spinal cord and uh, can cause different myelopathies as well as radicular problems. Okay, that's our most popular and that's the subluxation degeneration. So if you have any more questions on our animations, please reach out to us at support at posturescreen.com. Thank you.